Hello YouTube. This is Mark Lewis with another video. Here to show you guys how to put on a balancer done the right way. So we're gonna get started in about a minute. Let me just grab so. We back. Now I'm gonna line these up accordingly. Let's see, yeah, uh, you can see it. We can get a good eye of it. Let's see. Yep. Hope let it focus. There it is. Yeah. But right there, you know, is the color. So the colors are going to go from one side to the other, coming from the black. So you're going to start off with the black. Always start off with the ground first. And I'm gonna and another thing, do not connect this until you're finished. I know the mistake I made on the other video. I kept the wires connected and that's what sparked the fire. The lithium has did good without the balancer amazingly though. I haven't had the balancer on there, you know, since the box got made. So it's probably about five months. We're gonna take our little time. It ain't gonna, I mean, it ain't gonna take a long time to do. It might seem a long time, video time. But that's gonna be connection number one. I will have that pop up. You should see that on the video. That's connection number one. Connection number two. It's gonna be on the bottom of the battery. So you just tilt the battery over. Like I said, the lithium hold it up pretty good in the car all this time without the balancer. Now, would I recommend to go without the balancer? No way. But it did pretty good without the balancer. Let me see if we can get it. Uh -huh, nah. Oh yeah, I remember this the same one we had a problem with last time. Try to get it to be us. The technicalties. So we got it. There we go. Let's get up in there pretty deep. So your second your second wire should be the green. I mean, I haven't even, ever since that last video I did where, where I burnt, burnt up the, the balancer, I have not took a look at nobody's video. I just, I'm just going to do it on my own <laughs> again. Wow, this is connection number two. So you gonna have five connections, of course. Make sure you just tighten it back up in there. These bars work out pretty good too. I'm thinking about making another uh another another lithium bank. Cause I like the lithium bank so much. Alright. So you have two connections. Your third connection. Turn it around. Your third connection would be the yellow. Your yellow. So your third connection would be right here. Let's take that off. I got both of my hands, so so it's cool. Nothing connected. You don't have to worry about anything touching.
This is a, a 48 amp hour uh, lithium battery headway cells. And this is a, a 4S, a 4S balancer. So when you look up a balancer for it, look up 4S balancer. It all depends on how many uh, slots you're gonna have to use or connect. I mean, that's just what I know so far. You know, I'm not no lithium genius yet. I'm learning, I'm still learning. You know, but I'm not scared to learn about lithium and I'm not scared, you know, to work with lithium, which I have done on numerous occasions. <laughs> I actually built this here. You know, the video, the video is on the channel. It should, matter of fact, once you press, you know, the bottom of my channel, and just press my name, the video will pop up. So let's go. So that's connection number three right there. So we almost to the home stretch. The big thing is gonna be when we connect the link, you Oops. I drop down. Oh, okay, we still there. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, let me sure we got that down there. Okay. The struggles. Just, just pressing it as hard as I could. But that's because I had some double sided tape there. As we, you know, talked about in the last video. I try to get as much of it I could out of there though, but it's okay. A screw will be a screw. It should be connection number four. So what you mean, what it mean, okay, from my understanding, like I say, I'm not a genius of lithium, but from my understanding about the 4S, you got the you got the uh the, the you know the yellow the green and the white and you know the the positive and the negative serves as one connection. That's what I know. If I'm wrong, y'all y'all can correct me. I don't I don't mind you guys correct me ever. You know, matter of fact, you know it helps me learn more, it helps me get better. I appreciate you guys like always. So we got it. And I checked all the bolts on it, you know, because we we do got a loud booming system up in there. So boy, that sticky tape, it do it do build up resin. Like double side tape, it does build up residue. And these little connection things I got, I got them from uh, Track Auto or Auto Auto Zone. All right, it's tight enough. So your one last connection. So we got all four of them connected. I try to make sure I'm gonna edit it real good for you guys can see it as I connect them. All right. And the final, the final connection. This is connection number five. Okay. Okay, screw one and a half. There we go. So you got grouch up in there and then this probably, <laughs> it probably got some little that residue on there. But headway cells are very safe, by the way. Like I said, they operated good, what, six months in my car without no issues, no light dimming, none of that. I mean, it was, it was like, shoot, I mean, that thing must have been a good move, man. I mean, I, I have this. This is actually the only thing that really powers my system. And that's like in a, a real pint size, you know, like I'm going to say seven by seven, seven, 
seven height, seven wide, and about maybe about let's see, about ten inches deep. Let's see. Yeah. About yeah, about ten inches deep. So it's not it's not much to it. So here we go. So we're gonna connect this and see what happens. All right. Like the lights popped off. Oh, I gotta get it all the way up in there. Yeah, it's popping on though. It's it's balancing. It's balancing. Okay. There we go. So if y'all see the light, it's gonna blink. It goes, it blinks on here though, but it's it's connected right. No blow up. It just balanced it. It's a successful connect. You get to see it. But I don't know what makes it click. So Find something to stick it on. I let it hang for a little bit, but yeah. So let's go back over it real quick one more time. Okay, we start with the uh, positive. That's number one. You know, start with the bottom. The bottom right there, that's number two. Number three would be your yellow. Number four would be your white. And number five would be your red. All right. Uh, oh. You all enjoyed the video. And if you do, smash that like button. If you're new and love car audio and wants to learn car audio, please consider subscribing. Let's take one good look. <laughs> one more time. So maybe we'll get better performance with the uh you know, with the battery being hooked up, I mean, with the balancer being hooked up to the battery. You know, I checked all my cells individually. You can actually check all your cells from right, you know, right from the bottom to the top. You can do it that way. I checked them. Everything showed up at 3.0, 3.0, 3.1. You know, it's resting at about 13.1, 13.2. So, you know, it might, it's charging a little bit lower than, you know, than what they recommend on the website. But I think it's going to get back up to full progress. All right. This is Mark Woods. I'm out.